Team coverage on local law enforcement. It's in the wake of the murder conviction of Huntsville Police Officer William Darby. Way 31's Bridget Divers joins us live in Huntsville with more on a new lawsuit. It blames Huntsville Police for a woman's shooting death. We begin our team coverage in Decatur with Way 31's Olivia Schuler after speaking with Decatur Police as they struggle to hire crucial staff in this climate. Olivia. Police Chief Nate Allen said the police department isn't short on patrol officers, but they are down seven to eight specialized unit officers consistent with years past. So we want to keep our numbers as high as we can, so we always are recruiting. The police department is preparing to fill some patrol positions so that some officers can be promoted and fill upcoming retirements. Our patrol numbers are not down, so our community is still safe. Allen recognizes there may be more apprehension on joining the police force. Much more difficult time to recruit and retain officers in light of things going on around the nation in the profession of policing. A lot of folks now don't want to get into policing. Remember, policing is a calling. Uh, you have to really want to do that. Going forward, Allen says recruiting efforts will continue in the community. We have to become a part of the community in order to attract people from the community that we serve. Uh, we are actually in the churches, we are in the schools, we are in the community. Uh, people know us. We ride around, we communicate with the young folks. Uh, those are all part of the things that we do as part of, as part of our recruiting. It all starts with filling out an application. Allen said if you are apprehensive, you can always come down and talk to them about a career in policing or do a ride along with an officer. Reporting in Decatur, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News.